The ability of documentary to construct and convey a social commentary is evident across all modes of the genre. However, to be able to convey such messages purely through the use of sound and visuals without narration is an entirely different feat, one expertly achieved by filmmakers Santiago Alvarez and Johan van der Kuchen. In their films Now and Time Work, they cover important issues of injustice and social divides. However, they take vastly different approaches. Firstly, we'll take a look at Alvarez's Now. The film documents the horrific acts of police brutality during the civil rights movement in America. Assembling newsreel footage, it acts as an obvious call to action against racial inequalities and injustice. The images Alvarez uses are combined with Lena Horne's song, also named Now, to strengthen the message he is trying to convey. Alvarez once said that the filmic structure emerged in the editing room around Lena Horne's song, in front of which I reacted in accord with all those previous experiences, and this is blatantly clear to viewers. The visuals and the song seem to be in dialogue with each other, with Horn's song reacting to the imagery and vice versa. Perhaps the most jarring example of this is seen here. Alvarez's response to Horn's call for unity features imagery of the protesters physically chained together while the police, along with anyone else who opposes the movement, band together against them. This type of dialogue only intensifies as the film progresses, with Alvarez even repeating similar imagery towards the end of the film. As the song crescendos and speeds up, so does the pacing of the editing. The jumps from images become more rapid with more moving footage being included. This increase in movement suggests the increasing need to put motion to the movement needed to tackle the issue. With this change in pace, the sense of urgency grows, mimicking the increasing urgency of the situation. Much like Horn's song, the message of this film is not subtle, especially when you consider the contrast with imagery of Martin Luther King and Abraham Lincoln at the beginning. Christy M. Wilson states that in this contrast, Alvarez suggests that the US democracy has failed to eradicate its inherent violence and racism in spite of dialogue represented by the iconic images of Martin Luther King and LBJ that appear at the start of the film. Horn's song reflects this same idea. Enough with the quoting, put those words into action, and we may the words of these iconic figures are used time and time again, but there is a lack of action put to them. This is the message achieved through Alvarez's effective exploitation of montage documentary. Now turning to look at van der Kuchen's work in Tom Stravai or Time Work. While his narrative is similarly formed via his editing, van der Kuchen's approach is much different and as a result its message can be harder to decipher. Gurdon Linthorts states that van der Kuchen plays and improvises with images and sounds just as the jazz musician does with rhythms and styles, and always makes use of reality as it is, but transforms it into something entirely different. The pacing of the film is of particular importance throughout. There is a strong contrast between the fast-paced, repetitive editing of the start and finish and the middle section, which features slower cuts and a more peaceful feel. The strong emphasis on hands through the editing links the idea of work throughout the film, and the pacing is the measure of time. This simple element forms the message van der Kuchen is trying to convey. The fast-paced assembly line style work is presented via quick cuts with repeated imagery and sound, representing the monotony of the typical working life. This is contrasted with lingering shots of workers in developing countries with little repetition, suggesting the time and care put into their work. However, the reward proves much larger for the fast-paced business workers, as evidenced by the film's ending. The amount of time and effort put into everything is disproportionate to the amount of money they make. In the fast-paced industrial world, they cannot even dedicate a second to one particular task, yet the reward is far greater. This message is driven home by one of the rare uses of music in the film. The film draws to a close with the repetition of a sombre theme played by the violin, almost lamenting this assembly line style of production, driven by profits. Unfortunately, as suggested by the closing shot, we are all blind to this. Unlike Alvarez's attempt to inspire others, van der Kuchen takes a slightly more cynical approach and closes out on a much more sombre note.
These films both represent the endless possibilities that can be accessed through creative montage. It allows the construction of a narrative and to convey a specific social commentary without the confines of conventional documentary format. Both their messages come across strongly through their masterful editing style and thus act as proof that one can say a whole lot without a single word.